Now, up next is a film that I finally get a chance to say something. Uh, and this film is uh, details a small group of prisoners inside the Sing Sing Correctional Facility, one of the world's most infamous maximum security prisons, who attempt to stage their own original production, Breaking the Mummy's Code. And of course, the film is called Sing Sing, which is directed by Greg Quidar, who co-wrote the screenplay with Clint Bentley. Now, this is based on the real life rehabilitation through the arts program, or as they call it, RTA, at Sing Sing Maximum Security Prison. Uh, you know, this film stars Coleman Domingo and Paul Racy, along with many real life formerly incarcerated men who were themselves alumnus of the program during their incarceration. And we spotlight two, including Clarence Divine I. Macklin and Sean San Jose. Let's start with this one, Charles. Um, you saw this film back at TIFF, am I correct? I did. I did. Right, yes. And I missed it at TIFF. So I got a chance. Uh, and, and it was also, we will also be transparent and say, um, I'd reached out to Coleman Domingo about trying to secure this film for our festival. And I know you did as well, talk to it about Light Rail. And it kind of went through our festival. So I was not really paying a lot of attention to it because I was like, eh. But then I went to a screening. Charles, I don't think you were there, but I went to a screening where they had the entire cast, including Coleman Domingo and the directors and producers there. And got a chance to watch the movie. And I just thought that this movie was a movie that was so full of hope, right? Of course, Coleman Domingo is the center of it. Um, and it tells the story of his character, who's a part of the RTA, and them trying to put on this production. And they put out an advertisement throughout the prison to find out if anybody wants to join. And the most unlikely candidate uh this guy um uh divine eye divine eye clarence macklin shows up and the two of them just don't hit it off initially uh and then he stands there and then there's a transformation that occurs i don't know i don't know i don't know if that's true i think uh divine well, you, g was you think there was some respect or like like he was really kind of trying to, to to figure his way out, like looking at these guys. So maybe it was that, but 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 there's a couple of early scenes where, you know, uh, Coleman Domingo's Divine G is talking to Divine Nine, or Divine I, excuse me. And he's like, yo, man, you know, I don't need all that, man. I ain't here for that. So, so when I talked about them not getting along, it was maybe that resistance at the beginning between the two of these characters. Um, and without spoiling it, uh, let's just say that that as the film evolves into uh, the second and third act, that there is a transformation. Uh, there is some joy. There's some pain because, of course, people are in prison. And much like one of my other favorite prison dramas, Shawshank Redemption, you got people who are going in front of the pardon, you know, the, the board to, to to get their sentence. Parole board. Yeah. Parole board. Thank you. Um but I found this film to be a film that was full of hope, uh, very aspirational. I thought it was a story that was well told. And we also found out uh, with the cast there that Coleman Domingo literally shot this movie in between Rustin and what was the other film that, that Domingo was in? Um, yeah. Color Purple. Color Purple. He had a 17-day window, Charles, and he fit this in in 17 days in Sing Sing. And boy, it's, yeah. a, it's a wonderful little shoehorn in between these two big budget films, man. But I like this movie a lot, man. What what say you? You know, um, people were talking, uh, like I said, I saw it at Toronto last year. And after the film was over, they gave the film, the, the filmmakers and the actors came out, they gave them a standing ovation for six minutes over this film and and people were talking about oh how great he was in Rustin last year and and the color purple and I said you just hold on <laughs> I was like he, he's got something that's even better than that and I think this for, film is transformational it speaks to the the power of art and rehabilitation and and just in creating 
uh, getting people in touch with who they are and how that just because a person is incarcerated doesn't mean that they have no life. That you, you, and I think that's a very, you know, I worked in corrections for a long time. And so this movie touched a lot of uh, bases with me and I, and I think it very powerful. Uh, you know, the, the interesting thing about it though, is that Clarence Macklin, who plays the divine I in the movie is actually in, in real life, the divine G. And so he was, he was Coleman Domingo's character. So uh, it was, it, I spoke with him about it and he was like, yeah, it was fun for me to play the other role because I, I played him the way I saw him. And it, and I was like, yeah, it, it really worked well. The, the chemistry between the two of them was, was palpable and that, you know, uh, 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 Coleman is like the mentor to the mentee, and when the mentee doesn't want to go along with everything that the mentor is giving him, but eventually, you know, like you said, it's a Shawshank type deal where hope rises, and and you know, you look look to the future, and I I think it's a very powerful movie that uh, needs to be seen by a lot of people about how to teach us how we need to interact with each other as black men. It especially so yeah i think it's a great movie it's a plus a plus it's my a plus movie of the year i think this launches coleman domingo into oscar consideration well you know what man i was going to think about a b plus going into an a because you know i try to be try to really guard my a's man but Sing Sing is really good. I'm going to stick with my B plus, man. I think coleman domingo is uh i'm not gonna say he's the best thing in this film because i think Clarence oh no is really really good there are a couple of guys in here that match coleman domingo now coleman domingo is the big name and he's the reason to get you into the theater but the story and the rest of the cast some really solid performers that are in this film man so we like sing sing and i think that is our weekend's best bet pick uh to check that one out so